we don't have any confidence in the people running this university. Angel Wood, the social media editor of the digital newspaper at Utah Tech University, is one of the few willing to say so on camera. The faculty senate voted 23 to 4 to issue a resolution of no confidence in current interim president Courtney White and five other administrators. In the hours afterwards, in an email pull of all faculty, about 77% of them say they support the no confidence vote. It's, it's hard to see from an outsider's perspective, but also I'm living in it. I know most of these people being sued right now. I've talked to most of them. Most of them are out, out waving at everybody, smiling at everybody, and it's just, it makes me kind of uncomfortable to be a student here. A lawsuit says Richard Biff Williams, who resigned as Utah Tech president late last year and is now president of Missouri State University, created a vulgar prank using sexual innuendo, then blamed the school's attorneys and Title IX coordinator, who were not involved in suing. Following suit with their colleagues to the West, the faculty senate of Missouri State University in Springfield also voted for no confidence in Williams. Last week, it was revealed by Fox 13 that as part of his resignation agreement, Williams was paid more than $280,000 by Utah Tech since his resignation until taking his new position in Missouri. On Thursday, the Utah Board of Higher Education changed its policy to no longer allow such payments. In its front page editorial signed by its entire staff, the Utah Tech Sun News Daily said current leadership needs to go. We still are without an actual president and from everybody actually running for that position, they're all part of this lawsuit, and so what we wanted was a clean, clean house for this university. We truthfully don't want to see anybody being the president over this university that's been involved in all of these allegations and these lawsuits and this inappropriate, inappropriate behavior. From St. George, Chris Reed, Fox 13 News, Utah.